Are you hurting this morning, Mr. Powell? I've been walking. Speak into the mic, please. OK. Well, let's say that I was walking all over the place, and yesterday was hump day, and today's Thursday, and I got a hump on my back, and I look a little bit like Quasimodo, and I'm having some fun. Now, I'm downtown, I'm at Haven Brothers, and I want a cookie, and I buy a cookie. I walk across the street. I walk in and out 7-Eleven at least three times. I don't know why, but I do it. And then I go to Haven Brothers, and I don't uh, know Mr. why. Powell, Mr. Hungry. Powell, before you say anything, mm -hmm. I want you to listen to me for one minute, yes, okay? Sir. All right. Uh, you are charged with a misdemeanor. Yes, sir. You're charged with disorderly conduct. No. A misdemeanor in this court is punishable <clears throat> by a maximum fine of $500 or 30 days in jail or both. So I want you to understand that. Okay. But you have certain rights. Oh, wow. I know this. Well, That's I know you cool. know because you've had over 30 arrests. But let me explain to you. You've wow. probably heard this 30 times before. Yeah. But I want you to listen to what I'm about to say to you. You have the right against self-incrimination, which means... You don't have to say anything. Exactly. Do you understand those rights? I absolutely do. Okay. No, how, sir, how do you plead to the charge? I absolutely plead not guilty, but I have a question, sir. Now, if I buy a cookie, it costs a dollar. That is the dream of America. It says, in God we trust. I believe in Jesus. That's what I believe. Now, if I believe that a Jesus can buy me anything and I have a dollar, why would I need to spend it? Why does it need to go anywhere? We have gold. We have money. Why is it paper? Why is it substance? I don't know, but that's what I know. It's right. I don't know why it's right, but it's what I dream. And I don't know if what I dream is right and what is right what I dream, but it just makes sense. Just like if you have peanut butter and jelly and you add some bread and you got a knife, is it good? It's common sense to me. I don't know. But if I want to spend a dollar on a cookie and I want to eat a cookie and I want to walk across the street and not have some cop step on my foot and break my toe and me be in pain all night sitting in a cell asking why? I want to know why do I have to be discriminated against because of the way I look. Now, I believe in the Bible, which is the law, which is an oath, which is a president, which is everything that is found by America. And I don't know why. You know why? Because I believe in God. That's my belief. Hey, but now, let's say I believe in peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And I have one dollar, and <clears throat> I believe in God, and this God can give me anything, and I just hold the dollar. I don't need to have the power of a dollar. Sorry. Mr. But, uh, Mr. Powell. That's just a notion. Why don't we uh, talk about the matter at hand? Yes, and sir. Let me explain to you what the city alleges mm -hmm. happened, which resulted in your arrest. Mm -hmm. So I want you to listen. Oh, okay. Upon arrival, police identified you. Mm -hmm. They saw you inside the store. They spoke, with they spoke with employees who indicated that you were in the store and you were not making any purchases and that we, you were yelling at customers and at employees. Hmm. As a result of your behavior, you were hmm. instructed to leave, and you refused to leave. Hmm. At this time, an employee called the police. It should be noted that police were dispatched to the above location twice uh, on March 6th to disperse hmm. you for harassing customers in the store and refusing to leave. So this was the third time. That's what the city well, alleges happened. I say it's a lie, total lie. I was in 7-Eleven talking about God, smiling, laughing, believing in what I need to believe in because that's what my country believes in. It says it on my dollar bill. That's my dollar bill. It's everybody's dollar bill. Why do I have to believe in a lie? If you're running away from, you know, what the truth is, that you never did anything wrong, is that wrong? If you're innocent and people judge you because you're supposed to be guilty and you're innocent and everybody else is guilty because you know that you're guilty, does that make you innocent? I just explained to you, uh, yeah. Mr. Powell, that you have a presumption of innocence. As exactly. you, so as you stand before me, you are presumed to be innocent. And you have the right to have the city proved beyond... Mr. Powell, I'm speaking. Mm -hmm. And you have the right to have the city prove beyond a reasonable doubt the allegations contained in the complaint. Okay. So again, I'll ask you, based on the explanation, I find that you understand yes. th your rights. You've, mm -hmm. As I indicated, you've had 30 arrests, so you, you know your rights pretty good. You should by now. At any rate... I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah. At any rate, how do you plead to the charge? Not guilty. All right, that means you're going to come back and have a trial. So you are asking to come back and have a trial. Is that what you want? Um, sir, I just actually really want to be uh, released into society so I can learn more and know that I am innocent and, learn, and know that, that it is good. All right, I don't want to hear any more speeches. What I want to know is I want to know how you plead, guilty or not guilty. Not guilty. All right, the matter is going to be set down for trial. Mm -hmm. What that means is that I'm releasing you on the following conditions. That you, number one, that you will be back here on April 2nd for a trial. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Of course. Oh. 
that you will keep the peace and be of good behavior between now and April 2nd. And if you don't, then you will run the risk of being violated and sent to the ACI. Do you I'm understand not used that? I'm that in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Literally. I am, but I lied. That makes it a truth. You have a history of not appearing in court. Yes, I do. If you're not here, if you're not here on April 2nd, a warrant will be issued for your arrest, okay. and you will be held at the adult correctional institutions until the trial. Do you and understand I, that? I absolutely do understand that. Okay, and you're I released. Do, then I will be arrested because I will owe $500 to the state, and if that does happen, then no, why? No, sir, grab your stuff, come over here, start the trial. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.